Just 20 minutes drive from Inhambane are the pristine sandy beaches of Tofo. Marine life is set to play an increasingly pivotal role in Mozambique's future. The coral reef is what attracts many tourists, while overfishing of rare species and illegal poaching of whale sharks, for instance, is causing tension between environmentalists and local communities. This is Mozambique's first homegrown diving instructor. Now also a passionate campaigner for a charity called the Bitonga Divers. Their goal? To get his compatriots to get involved in tourism. And Kudzi is Mozambique's first qualified female diving instructor and inevitably a role model. When I first came here to Tofu, I used it to work as a waitress. And um, uh, my workplace, it, it was located right on the beach. So every day I used to see these people going out on the boat. Uh, and wearing the skin suits, that's how I used to, yes. <laughs> so I was like, wow, how, that's awesome, I'd like to do that. It took a year to pass the dive master course, during which time Kudzi worked unpaid from 7am to 6 in the evening at the diving equipment shop, although she did get funding to pay for the training. They didn't believe I would really be able to dive, but because I really wanted to do it, I insisted and I asked it, I asked it, and then they, they let me, they, they told me, we let you try and then we see how it goes. And I feel so lucky to have this opportunity to, to, to do this course and to become a dive instructor. I'm so lucky. So it's very expensive, not that the, other Mozambican don't like or don't want to dive. Most of them, they can't afford it. But even having qualified, Kudzi has only won half the battle. She struggled to get hired and has had to procure equipment by whatever means. You're the first female yes. Mozambique yes. instructor. Yes, I And am. it's still difficult to it, get work. It's very, very difficult to get work. Why? A lot of the dive shops here, they prefer to, to uh, hire the people from Outside, outside of Mozambique, so like South, South Africans. Africans and foreigner instead of Mozambicans. It's very, very sad for us because we really struggle to get jobs. The Pitonga divers are on a mission to also teach the value of conservation and tourism and not the destruction of endangered marine species. There is, though, considerable evidence of shark and manta ray hunting. Shark fins, for example, are worth $60 a kilo as a delicacy for soup in China. 